Good morning, y'all, y buenos dias. So for today's video, I'm super excited because I want to do a flip through on the Singapore math. I was so excited when I bought this because I've heard so many incredible things. So if y'all are interested, then keep on watching. Okay, so before I go through the flip through, I wanted just to give y'all a point of reference for us. So Luna is currently three years old and we started like homeschooling in a more, in a slightly more structured way about last year when she first started school and she's just been probably the most excited person ever. And that's saying a lot because I'm hype all the time about this kind of stuff. And so she just loves sitting down and doing work. And so that's kind of what I wanted to talk about first is that by no means whatsoever do you need to focus your child on sitting down, doing worksheets, doing textbooks, if that's not your child's style. Um, for us in particular, it works really well with Luna and that's something that I'll have to remember when Guali is a little bit older to see what their style is. Um, Luna loves hands-on stuff. She also loves textbook stuff. And so um, that's just a little bit of a preference. I don't want anyone to think like, wow, my three-year-old doesn't want to sit down and do textbook stuff. And that's because your three-year-old and my three-year-old are different people, just like me and you are different people. So don't, I don't ever want anyone to get the wrong idea of like, wow, she's doing textbooks and has a curriculum for a three-year-old, like, you know, whatever. Um, it, it has to be modeled with your child in mind. That's to me, that's the whole point of homeschooling is to really be able to nurture your child's love for knowledge in a way that fits them and not in a way that some YouTuber's kid is doing it. You get what I'm saying? And so this works well for us. Um, if your child loves textbooks and workbooks and loves sitting down and doing work like that, then this might work really well for you too. Um, that being said, let's get started. So I bought both the pre-K A and pre-K B sections of the dimensional math for Singapore math. So um, I'll link down below where I purchased this. This is not sponsored in any way. I didn't receive this for free. I purchased this myself and um, I just love the way that they approach math. I went to the public school system in Southern Louisiana and uh, it failed me to say the least. I didn't have the encouragement that I needed. Not, we also didn't have the resources. Um, the area that I grew up with was very impoverished and so the teachers didn't have the capacity in the way that they would have liked. Um, and so I did very terribly in math. I did awful. Um, I have a lot of anxiety when it comes to math. Even if it's simple, I, it still kind of makes me want to panic. And the way that this program approaches math just seems phenomenal. Like it seems so multi-layered, which y'all already know, I love when things approach a certain topic from a variety of different angles. So it's not just um, like what you would think like one plus one, but it's like real life math, which I think that it makes it a lot less scary for a lot of us who do kind of freak out about math. That being said, um, I purchased both the pre-K A and the pre-K B system. So I ordered the textbook, the workbook, and the teacher's manual for both. And this system is not made in particular for homeschooling parents. This is just like a regular system, um, but it works really well from what I've read with homeschoolers just because of the way that it's laid out. All right, so let's flip through this. This is what they look like on the outside, the textbook, the workbook, and the teacher's manual. And I am a sucker for super simple, clean graphic design. So I was sold immediately just on that part, but let's open up the textbook first. Um, the textbook and the workbook, obviously the whole set goes together, but um, the textbook is obviously the core bit of information and each lesson has worksheets that go along with it. And so, like I said, the system is so well laid out and it starts with super fundamentals, right? So it starts with textures, it starts with colors, it starts with uh, differentiation, which is super important, tall and short, big and small, and again, these are components to math that sometimes we tend to forget. We kind of think like, oh, numbers, addition, subtraction, like that's what math is. But all of the fundamentals have to be there in order for our kids to really be able to pick up on the next level of topics. And like I said, the worksheets um, that come with this, I mean, they're just so crisp, clean, they're colorful enough to where the kids want to be engaged with them, but not too distracting. I find that some workbooks have stuff that's just like too much going on to where the kids are a little bit distracted. But I mean, 
I'm just loving all this. I cannot wait to get started. And then here is the holy grail. I When I opened this up, y'all, I was so excited because of the way that it's structured. I Y'all already know I like everything to be organized. I like everything to have structure. And this is just so up my alley. And it gives you all of the resources that you need to go along with this. And so when using this, okay, like these are all the chapters and stuff. When using this, it gives you everything that you need and so much more to bring this math to life right because that's the problem with math is that sometimes it's so abstract that kid it just goes over the kid's head including us as adults and so it gives you different materials for you to use how to bring even books into the math itself and so for every single page in their textbook it, it gives you literally everything that you need to do in order to really get that lesson through. And again, the graphic design work in here is just phenomenal. And this is pre-KB, obviously the same layout, same uh, type of work. It'll just be building upon that um, foundational work. And again, the same layout uh, workbook goes along with the textbook. I know that you can purchase everything separately. I mean, you wouldn't necessarily 100% need the teacher's guide, but I just find the teacher's guide is probably one of the most important things for me just because it gives you so many different ideas, group play ideas. Um, there's snacks that like go along with the pages and it just, like I said, brings it into a different realm, into a different idea of what math is. So that is it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Um, this is just something that I'm super, super interested in. I really want to build a really good foundation uh, with math for Luna. I don't want her to be scared. I don't want her to have the same kind of like anxiety that I have surrounding math. I want her to love it and be engaged with it the same way she is with everything else. And as of right now, she, uh, we, we kind of looked through it together just to see and she was like, I want to do it right now. I want to do it right now. I was like, okay, let me at least get the video done and then we can get started with it. But I'm super excited. I'll give y'all an update um, at the end of the school year uh, once it's all done and I'll let y'all see, you know, what she did inside and how we enjoyed it or if we didn't enjoy it. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about this. Um, if y'all enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. As always, if y'all have any comments or questions, shoot them over at my Instagram. Lots of for watching and I'll talk to y'all later.